Neurostimulation therapy is a treatment proven safe and effective for the management of chronic pain. A neurostimulator is a device similar to a pacemaker, surgically implanted under the skin, typically in your abdomen or upper buttocks. The neurostimulator delivers mild electrical impulses to an area near your spine. The electrical impulses travel from the device to your spine over thin insulated medical wires called leads. Neurostimulation, in a way, outsmarts your pain. The signals from the neurostimulator reach your brain before the pain signal can arrive, so you feel a tingling sensation rather than the pain. Many people experience improvements in their pain symptoms and quality of life after receiving Medtronic Neurostimulation Therapy. Our desire is to really help you control your pain better. And one of the things that I tell individuals that are contemplating this is that it's one of the few surgical operations that you actually get the trial before you commit uh, to the permanent implantation. Unlike other surgeries where you have to guess what your final outcome is going to be, the trial stage really lets you see whether this treatment's for you. You get to see if it helps you improve your pain control. We may not be able to completely eliminate your pain, but we want to significantly reduce it. Also, the other benefits of a spinal cord stimulator system is that we can improve your pain control, and thus, by improving your pain control, our desire is to help improve your function. The other thing is that it's a reversible and non-destructive treatment. So unlike a uh, second or third back surgery where you're going to have to have a major operation, this we are able to control your pain but without destroying a lot of tissues in the process. Another benefit from a spinal cord stimulation system is that our desire is, is that we may be able to help you lower your pain medications. You may still need to take some pain medications, but hopefully you can take lower doses and find those lower doses to be more effective. And by lowering your doses, hopefully you'll have lower levels of side effects from some of those oral medications. My home life is so much better. I can uh, go out fishing with my son again. I can go sit in, in a boat. I uh, don't have to worry about the waves or the rocking or anything that gave me that constant pain before. I can move around again uh, like I used to many years ago. Hey, Dan. How are you doing? When I'm working, I got work to do. I'm out there. I'm, I'm moving. And I told people, I think I've got a hop, skip, and a jump in my walk now. It's wonderful. So when you sit down with your physician and you're making a decision whether you should consider a spinal cord stimulation trial and possibly an implant, it's important for you to understand the risks. Some of the risks are similar to a trial. We worry about bleeding, infection, nerve damage. We worry about the possibility of a spinal headache. Once the device has been implanted, we have also other concerns. One of the concerns is that we want to do everything to limit your risk of infection, because if this system was to become infected, it has to be removed. Some of the other risks associated with a spinal cord stimulator uh, implant are that we worry about the lead moving. If it moves, there's a possibility that we may not be able to cover the area that was really bothering you. Now, the first thing we'll do is we'll try to reprogram the system to see if we can cover that area again. If we can't, there's the possibility that we may have to go in back surgically and revise the system and put the lead back in the appropriate position. Neurostimulation provides advantages over other therapies used to treat chronic pain. One important advantage is that you can try it first during a screening test. One of the really favorable things with the spinal cord stimulator trial is that you get to test out the system and see if it helps you. And the reason we do this is just like with every other surgical operation, is some people don't respond as well as we have predicted. But the nice thing with the trial is you get to determine that before you progress forward to a permanent implant. Some of the other nice things about a spinal cord stimulator trial is that it's a reversible and non-destructive treatment option. So you get to actually um, try this, and then it can be removed at the end of the trial. And so if, if, you, if it does not help you, you have not lost anything. Unlike oral medications that circulate throughout your entire body, neurostimulation targets the precise area where you are feeling pain. A good candidate for neurostimulation therapy is a patient who has primarily nerve-related pain. In addition, those patients uh, usually have had the opportunity to have treatments that are uh, simpler, uh, less involved, and they've uh, progressed up the uh, cascade of treatments, if you will. Uh, so they've had simple pain medicines, they've had exercise and physical therapy and rehabilitation, and they might have had some injections. Initially, I injured myself playing football. I had four back surgeries previous, and it got to the point where it was pretty much live with what 
the pain is and there's nothing more that we can do. Well, the goal of neurostimulation therapy is to improve, quite simply, the patient's quality of life and pain relief. The specific improvements that we see in our patients and certainly that we want to achieve are improvements in the side effects and the complications of chronic illness. So we want to see patients sleeping better. We want to see them using fewer medications. We'd like to see them having a better exercise tolerance and ability to walk or perform the activities of daily living that are realistic goals for them. Now that I have the neurostimulator, my life has definitely changed for the better. I can actually walk again, and I can actually, uh, I couldn't do that for about two years, so now I can walk again, I can stand up straight again, I can actually function and be a part of society again, as far as I'm concerned. That's what I wanted to be, is get back to being as normal as possible.